क्वेश्चन इज शो दैट शो दैट शो दैट x अपॉन वन प्लस एक्स इज लेस देन लॉग वन प्लस एक्स इज लेस देन x फॉर ऑल x ग्रेटर देन जीरो Now this will I do in two different method. Method one, Lagrange mean value theorem. This is method one. Here I will say f x is. I'll take the middle one. I'll take this middle one. Log one plus x on zero to x. Closed interval zero to x. I told you once five is greater than zero. You can take an interval zero to five. This I have told you earlier. So let's rub all this. We need to rub all this. Now the second, uh, first point is f x. This f x is continuous. C T S. I'm writing C T S. You'll write continuous on zero or closed interval zero to x. Second, f x is derivable, derivable, derivable on open interval zero to x. There exists a C, a theta. Sorry, theta belonging to zero to one. That means that is that is theta is greater than zero but less than one. Wait a minute. Let's write it properly. Theta is uh, greater than zero but less than one. Such that such that f dash theta x is equal to f of x. This is minus f of zero. Upon x minus zero, this is like b. This is like a. This is b minus a. This is the way it is. Now you have this as. Now this is. We know f x is. We know f x is log one plus x. So f of f dash of x. You know by chain rule, this will become one plus x because log of x is one upon x, and then you differentiate this, will get one. Into one, so there is no use multiplying it. Is going to differentiate. Go to get the one upon uh, log 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 x. Get the differentiate. Go to one one upon one uh, x one plus x. Or if it's got chain rule, say go to get differentiate. So yeah, I got zero plus one into one into zero plus one actually, and then this will be nothing but one upon one plus x. Now, f of zero is log one plus zero, and this is nothing but log one, and this is nothing but zero. Done. Now put here. So f dash theta x here. Put theta x here. So one upon one plus theta x is equal to put it here. Log a uh, one plus x minus zero upon x minus zero. This is nothing but log one plus x upon x. A very very important point here. Very very important. Now see this. Now see this. The theta is in between zero and one, and x is greater than zero. It is given to me. It is given to me. Theta zero or one ke beech mein, and x greater than zero hai. So, so theta multiply this this whole equation by x. So zero theta x is less than x. Take this much part. Itna part lo. So theta x is less than x. You add one on both sides, right? So now take the reciprocal. Take the reciprocal. If you take the reciprocal, you will have one upon one plus theta x is greater than one upon x. Now multiply x on both sides. Multiply x on both sides. X upon one plus theta x is greater than x upon one plus x. And what is this quantity? If you cross multiply this here, if you cross multiply this here, see. Let me write it here. This becomes. X upon one plus theta x is equal to log one plus x. Wait a minute. Let me write it clearly here. Wait. Let's write it clearly. This is. This will give me x upon x upon one plus theta x is equal to log one plus x. So this is a very very important concept. So this is nothing but log one plus x. So from here. Your log one plus x is greater than, or I can write it. Okay, x one plus x. This can also be written like this: x one plus x is less than log one plus x. And let us call it equation number one. 
Let us call it equation number 1. Now let us take another part. You know theta, theta is greater than 0, less than 1. So, 1 would be less than 1 plus theta x. Understand this way. Theta is in between 0 and 1. Take a value theta, let's say 0 0.2. 0 0.2. Let's take x equal to say 2. So, 1 plus 0.2 into 2 will give me 1 plus 0.4. This is nothing but 1.4 and this quantity is always greater than 1. Whatever you take x, whatever you take x, whatever you take theta. Theta 0.2 lelo, x ko 2 lelo. So 1 plus, using this, isko use karte liye. 1 plus 0.2 into 2 will be 1, 1 plus 0.4. Wo ho jayega 1.4, jo 1 se greater hoga. Theta kuch bhi lo, parantu lena chahiye 0 or 1 ke beech mein. Or x koi value le lo, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, kuch bhi le lo. Yehi aayega, har samay. Har samay greater than 1 hoga. It will be always be greater than 1. So let's rub all this. Let's rub all this. Now, from here, from here, take the reciprocal. 1 upon 1 plus theta x is less than 1. Multiply by x on all sides. This will be x, 1 plus theta x is less than x. And 1 plus theta x, right now I told you, 1 plus theta x is here. Uh, x, x upon 1 plus theta x is nothing but this log x. So let us write, write it down. Let us write it down. Now, this is nothing but, this is nothing but log 1 plus x is less than x. This is equation number 2. This quantity is greater than this, but this quantity is less than this. Therefore, combining 1 and 2, you have, you write like this. Combining 1 and 2, you write like this. x upon 1 plus x less than log 1 plus x, which is less than x. This is proved using Lagrange uh, mean value theorem. Now, you will do the second method. The second method is, here you need the idea of, let us take a function hx. Let us take a function hx. You know, hx, if h dash x, h dash x is greater than 0, it implies, implies hx is increasing, increasing function, increasing function, increasing function, that is, that is, if I take two points, x1 less than x2, implies hx1 is less than hx2. This is that concept. Another concept you need to know, hx is, if I take the derivative of hx, if I take the derivative of hx, let's, hx is a function. Yeah, I have taken the derivative of hx. Similarly, I take the derivative of hx. Now, this time it comes less than 0, implies hx is decreasing function, decreasing function. That means, that is, if I take points x1 less than x2 implies hx2 is greater than greater than hx1. This concept. This concept I have told you in increasing function or decreasing function ke video. If h dash x0 is 0, it is not going to be able to see it. It is not going Increasing function. A decreasing function is not going to be able to see it. It is not going One way to see increasing is this. This two. The other uh, to show decreasing, it is this or this. So I'll use both of them here. Uh, I'll use uh, uh, I'll use this concept. So see, we are we were given the question was given as x show that show that x upon one plus x less than log one plus x less than x. This was the question. I have to prove this. Now I'm doing it with the second method. Method two it is actually. Let's rub it. No, no, let's keep it. Let's see. You define a function fx equal to log 1 plus x minus x 1 plus x and define a function phi x as x minus log 1 plus x. How will you define this function? Listen very carefully. This is greater than this. So write first here, then the back one here minus this. So this is greater than this. Write this one here and then write this one here. Dekho kaise likna kaise hai. देखो इस फंक्शन को बनाना कैसे fx और φx को बनाना कैसे देखो यहां पे log x पहले है तो पहले लिखो पीछे इसको लिखो ये इसको माइनस देके पीछे लिखो अब जब इन दोनों को कंपेयर करोगे ये इधर है बड़ा है इसको पहले लिखो माइनस इसको लिखो दिस इज द वे दिस इज बिगर सो राइट इन द फर्स्ट दिस इज स्मॉलर राइट विद अ माइनस साइन नाउ व्हेन यू कंपेयर दिस टू राइट दिस वन फर्स्ट 
here and write this one second with a minus sign. Okay, understood now how to write this type of functions? How to design the function? Function, how to make the function? Now take fx. Now you take f dash x. f dash x is nothing but 1 upon 1 plus x minus you take this a 1 plus x numerator denominator rule into 1 minus x then this becomes 0 plus 1 and then this becomes 1 plus x whole square your numerator denominator quotient rule we and phi dash x you take here 1 minus 1 plus x no problem into 1 no need to write this now f dash x you have take lcm 1 plus x whole square you take an lcm 1 plus x minus open up this part 1 plus x now this is a minus this is a minus so plus x similarly you take an lcm here so now you will have 1 plus x minus 1 upon 1 plus x and in the next step in the next step you have f dash x f dash x as this cancels out x upon 1 plus x x whole square and phi phi dash x comes out as cancel this to x upon 1 plus x now now see now the point is here see your x is greater than 0 so x square will be greater than 0 similarly 1 plus x will be greater than 1 adding 1 on both sides similarly for for this quantity 1 plus x is greater than this so 1 plus x whole square is greater than 1 implies just a minute is greater than 1 wait a minute is greater than 1 implies 1 plus x is obviously greater than 0 this quantity is greater than 0 of course 1 plus x whole square is also greater than 0 fine now you see one more thing 1 plus x is greater than x so x upon 1 plus x this is less than 1 but of course because of this two these conditions this is greater than 0 greater than 0 so f dash x so f dash x f dash x is greater than 0 now check about uh, x upon uh, 1 plus x c 1 plus x for this one 1 plus x is greater than x that means x upon 1 plus x is less than 1 but still greater than 0 because x is greater than 0 and 1 plus x is also greater than 0 so greater than 0 by greater than some uh, but it will be between 0 and 1 but point is greater than 0 dhyan rakho x greater than 0 hai x square greater than 0 hoga common sense 1 plus x is greater than 1 adding 1 both side add karo 1 to 1 plus x agar 1 se bada hai to 0 se to bada ho gayi 1 plus x square bhi 0 se bada hoga to 1 plus x is greater than x 1 plus x whole square you take this one to 1 plus x whole square this is to this will 1 plus x whole square will be greater than x common sense you take any value 2 you take 1 plus 2 ka whole square 1 plus 2 is 3 3 whole square is greater than c you take x equal to 2 so 1 plus 2 whole square is greater than 2 because this is 3 square and this is 2 this is 9 greater than 2 and obviously so this quantity is obvious this quantity is obvious so therefore this condition this is greater than 0 therefore this quantity is this quantity is greater than 0 this is what i have got yes mila ab is isko dekho phi dash x check phi dash x look here 1 plus x is greater than x and x is greater than 0 undoubtedly you take 1 plus x down so both of them are greater than 0 this quantity is also greater than 0 therefore and phi dash x is greater than 0 and uh, f dash x is greater than 0 and phi dash x is also greater than 0 because of these conditions you need to tell these conditions you need to write down the condition uh, let me write it properly wait for you let me first leave it aside this part this part is clear now for the phi phi dash x part what you write you write x is greater than 0 so 1 plus x is greater than greater than 1 that is greater than 0 implies 1 plus x is greater than 0 you also know the condition that 1 plus x should be greater than x because suppose you take 2 2 liya 1 plus 2 is greater than 2 isn't it or not therefore this is valid statement now you have this implies this implies this implies x upon 1 plus x is greater than 0 but less than 1 this is greater than 0 greater than 0 is my target greater than 0 is my target so so phi dash x is greater than 0 phi dash x is greater than 0 now see for 
now the actual thing begins see as as f dash x is greater than zero so fx is increasing fx is increasing increasing therefore if i take zero less than zero less than x this will behave like x1 this will behave like x2 you will get f of zero less than f of x now find out f of zero find out you think i think you have already found out f of zero now f of zero is what put zero here put zero here put zero here so you will get log one log one is zero zero minus zero is zero so f zero is zero let's do it see fx was fx was log 1 plus x minus x upon 1 plus x so f of 0 is log 1 plus 0 minus 0 upon whatever 1 plus 0 this will give me nothing but log 1 minus 0 and this is 0 minus 0 is 0 so this quantity is 0 and this is fx so this can be written as fx is greater than 0 and what is fx fx is this log x log 1 plus x log 1 plus x minus x upon 1 plus x is greater than 0 implies this i made you understand don't write it anywhere no need uh, then this is log 1 plus x is greater than x upon 1 plus x this is equation number one now take the phi dash x greater than 0 equation this equation this phi dash x greater than 0 see this equation phi dash x greater than 0 what is phi phi dash x therefore phi dash x greater than 0 implies phi dash x greater than 0 greater than 0 implies phi x is increasing is increasing function is increasing function is increasing function so 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 you take 0 and x this will behave like x1 and this will behave like x2 implies phi of 0 is less than phi of x therefore what is phi of x see phi of x is x minus log 1 plus x 1 plus x right phi of 0 0 minus log 1 plus 0 and this is nothing but 0 minus log of 1 and log of 1 is always 0 0 minus 0 is 0 so this is 0 this is for your understanding don't write it in the exam no need phi of x so this gives phi of x greater than 0 and what is phi of x x minus log 1 plus x and this is greater than 0 that means x is greater than log 1 plus x this is equation number two you can see one thing x is greater than log 1 plus x and log 1 plus x is greater than uh, x over 1 plus x therefore x is greater than therefore from 1 and 2 from from 1 and 2 see from 1 i got what i got x upon x uh, sorry x upon 1 plus x 1 plus x less than log 1 plus x. this was equation 1 now from here i getting this is less than x so this is proved